Hello everyone, this is the daily devotional video for April 20th, 2017. Our passage for today is the book of Matthew, chapter 7. We're reading verses 7 and 8. <coughs> Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. And the title for today's devotional is Seeking Guidance, the Pattern. As we've seen, there is a pattern to seeking God's guidance. The first step, cleansing, is actually important throughout the entire process. In fact, all but one of the remaining steps have no particular order and can fit together in many ways. The exception is surrender. The Lord cannot share his plans for our life until we are committed to following him no matter what. He certainly knows whether we are seeking direction in order to obey or merely to consider what he suggests. Therefore, surrender must precede even our prayers for guidance. 1 John 5, 14 and 15 says that the Lord hears and grants our petitions when we ask according to his will. It's possible to make requests that are not of God, but believers who yield themselves will find their way to the right requests and the best possible answer. Most of the time, God guides believers to an answer to his word, which is why I encourage people to meditate upon it. Reference here to Psalm chapter 1, verses 2 and 3. Our reading can take us to the very passage that deals with our situation or reveals a principle that applies. Sometimes, God speaks a crystal clear message to a person's heart that nobody else would glean from those particular verses. The key is to believe that the Lord is going to guide you and to live out that faith. Reference to Mark eleven twenty four. The process of seeking guidance is often slow, so we must wait. Running ahead or manipulating circumstances can be a costly mistake. Our omniscient, sovereign God acts on behalf of those who wait for him. Reference Isaiah 64.4 Those who seek direction will receive. That is a promise. Reference here Matthew 7.7-8 7, 7 That is a powerful devotional. We really have to surrender what we want, what we think, what we expect, what we think God should do, and what we expect God to do, and what we want God to do, and just say, God, you have a better plan for my life than I could ever come up with on my own. And I'm going to surrender control of everything to you. We always have one area we don't want to quite let go of. We want to kind of be in control of that one area of our lives. And God say, you know what? I have an amazing plan for your life, but you have to surrender to me. 100%, or could we know halfway? You gotta surrender 100% and know that I have your best interests at heart. And if we just trust Him and surrender to Him, we, we will never forget that. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys back here again tomorrow.